Understanding, subtract from, a guide to English phrases. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we'll explore the phrase, subtract from. It's a common term in English, often used in mathematics, but it also appears in everyday language. We'll break down its meaning, usage, and give examples to make it easy to understand. So, let's dive in. Subtract from is a phrase that originates from mathematics. To subtract means to take something away from a group or a number. For example, if you have five apples and you take away two, you are subtracting two apples from the five. In mathematical terms, it would be written as five to two. Apart from math, subtract from is used metaphorically in everyday language. When we say something subtracts from something else, it means it reduces its value, quality, or effect. For example, the loud noise subtracts from the enjoyment of the concert. Here, the noise is taking away from the pleasure of the concert experience. Let's look at a few sentences to understand its usage better. 1. Negative publicity can subtract from a celebrity's reputation. 2. Adding too much salt can subtract from the taste of the meal. 3. In mathematics, subtracting 3 from 8 gives 5, 8 minus 3 equals 5. Be careful not to confuse subtract from with subtract by. They have different meanings. Subtract from focuses on what is being reduced, while subtract by focuses on the amount being taken away. I hope this video helps clarify the meaning and usage of subtract from. It's a versatile phrase that you'll encounter in math and daily English conversations. Remember, language is a tool. The more phrases you understand, the better you can express yourself. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.